Welcome to assessment task number two and the overview. This is the short essay. Now, this essay has come about with the express purpose of asking you to prepare a style of writing that will be used again in the final exam and also which allows you to build on the skills that you were developing in the practice questions. So the feedback that you received on your practice question essay will assist this particular task. Now to talk about what we're asking you to do, this is this is a challenge because you've had a practice drill and this is about stretching and challenging you and really giving you something to work with. It's up to 2,000 words. So I would like to emphasize that when I say up to 2,000 words, if you try and answer this in 500 words, you're going to have a bad day at the office and it's going to hurt. You're probably not going to get there. So reasonably and realistically, you're looking around the 2,000 word mark. Some You can go a little bit below it, but you probably won't want to. Now, the question you're being asked to address is a conceptual theoretical. And the question is, given the nature of marketing as a subject area, how does the marketing planning process tie into the way marketing is defined? That's part, that's the first hook. That's part A, if you like to think of it. Part B is the instruction of how to answer part A. Using the AMA 2007 definition, explain how the principles of marketing are delivered through the process of preparing a marketing plan. There is no exemplar essay. There is no perfect answer and nobody's asked this question. So nobody out there has an answer that you can draw on. You can't, you're going to have to go out and come up with your own answer and get your justification and your support from existing theory, existing ideas, chapters, textbooks, articles, journal articles, conference papers, blog posts. You're going to need to build your own case here. This is almost uh, a humanity style argument and essay approach. And it's designed to give you a chance to write in a different style. This is your justify, explain, and extrapolate approach. Now, there are a couple of criteria that I want to draw your attention to straight up. You can't answer this without use of secondary research. It's just not going to happen. Any of you who are thinking that what your plan is that you'll just sit down at the keyboard and bang out an answer and do that on the Friday, do that on the Tuesday before it's due on the Wednesday, you'll get you to your word count possibly, but you won't get to your score. You have to use references. You have to bring together the arguments of other people because the task here is read a series of other people's work, draw inspiration from their ideas present your own argument that's supported, justified, and validated by the ideas and the adaptation of the ideas of other people. So you have to reference. Second thing is that in the process of referencing, I'm going to ask you to use Google Scholar. It's one of the uh, options in front of you. The thing about Scholar that I really want you to understand is that it's a really valuable asset. Whilst you're at the ANU and you're on campus, being able to access PDF files of and the first series here are all uh, marketing books. When we look at here, you can download a full text article. There we have PDF file. Those are worth, on average, $25 US. There can be about uh, 30 euro as well. So whilst you're here on campus, you're able to access this for free. So in addition to the assessment task being about teaching you how to use secondary research, 
and getting you particularly focused on delivering arguments that are validated through secondary research, it's about building up your personal library and your personal database of assets and resources. At each PDF being worth $25, run a quick calculation to work out how many files you need to save on a USB drive to come ahead of the course at a profit. But also, when you are continuing on as a marketer and a marketing student, as you build up this personal library of assets and materials, you can draw on them in other subjects or in your future career. Particularly, one of the things I'd like to draw your attention to in the short essay is that because I'm asking you to read broadly around the definition of marketing, the principles of marketing, and the process of a marketing plan, the assets that you acquire here, the references, the knowledge, and the information, can be reused in the exam. And one of the secrets to the exam in this subject is that the work you put into this short essay, the preparation and work you do here in terms of the reading, secondary research, and the way in which you engage your own notes, if you pay attention to the citations that you're using in this essay, they will sit in your short and medium term memory. So when you come to exam revision, you can look over your short essay notes and that will give you a body of knowledge that you can apply in the exam. Now, this course is heavily crosswired and the short essay is set up to move you from a preset, very narrowly defined series of questions, which your first task did. Second task for 20 points, again, because it's only 2,000 words, it's only 20 points, the expectations that will be on you. This is still an evolutionary process. I still see this as this is your second major piece for my subject. So this is really about the development. The exercise is about getting you to do something a little more difficult, to develop a pool of knowledge, and to remember that this pool of knowledge that you're building here can be reapplied in subsequent assessment tasks. So this is a really good early semester investment in setting up a nice, relaxed, and more confident tail end to your semester for your major essay and your exam.